Hi everyone, welcome to another ch chat here on the Netball Post. My name is Ella Curlis and today I'm having a chat with the Australian Men's and Mixed Netball Association President, Andrew Simons. Andrew, thanks for the opportunity to speak with me. That's all right, no dramas. Thanks for having me. Anytime. Um, well, firstly, congratulations on the launch of the Stake in the Game project. Can you, you tell us about the about the program? And um, I guess we were talking about it off air, but what inspired you guys to start it up? Well, really our stake in the game uh, project is really a response to the state of the game that was released by Netball Australia last year. What it's mostly around is navigating the growing space for men within netball. And I guess sort of addressing some of that popularity that men's netball is really gaining in the community at large. I think really the time is now for men's netball. We're, we're ready to break through. We've had a product for about 30 years or so. And so it's really sort of time that that, that come out. Um, yeah, that, I mean, that's, that's really what the stake of the game is about. It's about responding to this growing pool in the community. And you've mentioned about men's netball. I, I agree. I think it's important to um, rally and I guess tell other people about it as well. Yeah. Oh, look, absolutely. I mean, our, our men have been involved in the women's side of the sport for a long time as either umpires or coaches, but also now as training partners, both privately, but also as publicly open uh, training partners for the different SSN teams. So men's netball is getting a lot more renown. And I think anyone who's seen our national championships can really sort of vouch for the quality of play that we have in our players. What are your main goals with this project? And how do you think it will benefit men's net netball as well as the sport in, as a whole? Um, I mean, like, like I said, it's really the response to the state of the game. Um, the State of the Game project sort of released eight recommendations of which they specifically referenced AMNA and men's netball as a whole as part of those recommendations. So this is really AMNA's response of how we can be involved and how we can assist both Netball Australia, but also the sport as a whole in terms of achieving those goals of inclusivity and really being a sport for all. Um, where, you know, we, we're keen to be involved. We've got players who have been itching now. And certainly what I've seen change across my time is we've got young players now who are choosing netball as their default sport, not a, a sport that they uh, happen to fall upon and play once or twice. Like you say, what sport do you play? And they say, I am a netballer and sort of owning, uh, owning that concept, which is completely new, I think, for, for men worldwide. I tell you what, you hit the nail on the head there. And I feel, and just watching men's netball for the last, I guess, couple of years or the last 12 months, there's so much growth in the in the pathway as well. So I definitely agree it's important to um, find opportunities for these players to somehow play in these competitions. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, a, a massive thank you and shout out goes to the member organisations in each of the states. They're really, particularly in this COVID ravaged netball world that we live in at the moment, um, they're being incredibly ingenious in finding new and creative ways of involving uh, men and keeping their men active within the sport, um, particularly in our sort of largely unsupported financial environment. Um, so I guess we, we really are controlling all components of it as such. We've sort of got two builds that are running concurrently. One is really the top-down plan that is responding to the um, guidance that's been provided by World Netball about being a, a major growth area, but also by Netball Australia in terms of their uh, state of the game review recommendations. But I guess also that, that bottom-up build and making sure we're mapping the goals that we're putting in place in that response to really help try and foster an even greater space for our game, both within the Australian level, but I guess also with our um, member organisations in the States and the ADF, but also I guess getting further and further grassroots reach as we possibly can to help really build a sound foundation for our game. And one last question. Do you think netball as a sport could be doing more to inspire the younger generations to engage in netball? 
Uh, certainly, I, I know that there's been a bigger pull within the AMNA environment towards um, recruiting youth and sort of really building a much broader, stronger youth demographic coming through. Um, many of the states uh, have established junior M League programs, and I think that that's where it really begins to start. And I think what we're seeing at the Australian level is, is that that youth is continuing through, and some of our young players coming through are absolutely exceptional. They are uh, really gonna be the future of the game. And I think what we can do is to help provide, um, I guess, more and more structure, clearer pathways, so that those, those players aren't lost to the sport. Um, I think what we see in terms of our SSN training partner players, in terms of our international product that unfortunately we haven't been able to have on court for a little while due to COVID. But I think when people see that and they see things that are being done internationally as well, I think young men are becoming more and more inspired to be part of the game um, that we all love. Uh, I think really what, what we can hope to do is by furthering our relationships, both with our international partners, but also at home with Netball Australia, is to really be able to provide a sound building block and home for these players to really continue to broaden their sights and become inspired to become the best in Australia.